Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Henry is now out of the monastery and he can get rid of his robes and his, and his slippers and he's got his armour back. So we're in prison because we've uh, arrested Pios. And uh, looking at our journal now, we have to go back to the agreed meeting place near Sasso. Uh, my spiritual contemplation in the Order of Saint Benedict is over. Farewell, Brother Gregor, which was our alias. Now, back to those crimps. Let's hope they finally lead me to the bandit encampment. So, go to the green place in the swamp by Sassau. Let's do it. Let's go. Before I go, my plan is to um, go in, go into that cell. This is where Pios is, and I want to see if he's got the dice on him. Um, it's locked, so we pick. Belly ache, have you? That's nasty. Well, I never. Mother of God. So we've just pickpocketed Pios. He never had that dice on him when we were in the uh, monastery. Okay, strange die. This is what we got from Pios. Um, there's something odd about this die, but I'm not sure what. Fuck off back to your mother's cunt. I'm done with you. We went through so much together. How can you call me that? Right, so, um, yeah, I'm back in here, Ratai, and I've just sewed up all my gear, all the, uh, the goblets and uh, chalices and everything else I stole from the monastery. So let's go to Sasau then and meet these bandits. So I don't know if you remember this, actually, which I picked up within the, um, the prior's room. Remember, descend from the gate of faith between the shadow of the cathedral and the wooden stockade. Pass contritely through the dry river bed beneath the great bridge. Like Moses, fearlessly still the waters. Ascend to dry land among the bulrushes. Find your faith and search in the burning bush. Oh, got something here. Knight's hunting sword and a light decorated hose. 37 groschen. Thank you very much. Decorated riding boots. Well, that's worth a bit of money. That's the, that's the uh, map done then. Maybe that was Pius's one. Anyway, let's carry on to Sasso then. Yeah, so at some point as well, we got quite a few treasure maps in our inventory. So I will have to look through there at some point. I know there's one. I, I, let me just show you something, guys. There's, I did notice something here. So this one here is treasure map number two. And this area here looks like uh, Sasso Monastery. Um, so I got the side entrance and there's like a something by a river and I could go and do that now quickly actually um, I'm guessing it's this place here in fact let's just go and do that now um, just to just to see what's there okay let's do it yeah so another thing as well on the way to this treasure I just want to let you know I got um I might do a tip of the day per episode so Depends if you guys can put some tips in. I got a lovely tip here from uh, Kay Backy again. Always take the cobwebs. They go into night vision potions and are rare. So that's something I did not know. Thank you very much, Kay Backy, for that again. Always take the cobwebs. Aha, uh -huh, this might be it. Right, I found the treasure map. Oh, I think I've checked. I've, I've, it's further up from here, further up north. So, uh, yeah, grave. Let's um, let's should we dig. <laughs> let's dig. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? What's in this grave? This is only uh, treasure map two, though. So I don't know where they uh, they get better, the higher they get. Oh, we got a die of misfortune. That's all right. This is all right, isn't it? Decorated riding boots. Lazarus Potion, um, The Alchemist's Dream. Oh, this is lovely. 
I wonder if this is better than what we got here. Let's have a check it out. Oh, brilliant. Oh, lovely. I love it. Right, let's carry on to the, um, the meeting place. And carry on with this quest. Uh, so we got to go all the way over to here. Uh, see you there, guys. See you there. See you in a minute. Right, so it looks like we're coming up now to the meeting point somewhere up here. Oh, it's very boggy and marshy around here. Yeah. So I've just seen that the uh, the new 3,000 cards have been announced. So at the moment I've got a 2070 and uh, the 3070 looks about $500 and it's like double the power of the Blinkin 2070 so I'm going to have to... Uh, this looks like the place they were talking about. I'm going to have to try to persuade my wife to let me buy one. So light a fire at the signal to the bandits. All right, so let's, let's light a fire then. And um, I guess they'll come. And they'll want to look at that dice, a strange dice as well, as proof that I've killed Ios. Well, they just say something about he's got some treasure hiding. And uh, we, didn't, we didn't manage to talk to him. Obviously, when we talked to him in the prison, he just told us to F off. And some other language, which I won't repeat. Here it comes, here they are. Raining again. Yes, we are in Europe. Morning, sunshine. Hope we didn't wake you. Kurva. Did you have to sneak up on me like thieves? <laughs> we are thieves. Besides, you had to make sure you weren't followed. Or trying to lead us into a trap. But enough of this chit chat. Let's get down to business. Yes, let's do it. So what he's going to see the die, isn't he? Did you kill him? We heard there was some trouble at the monastery. Question is, was it the right sort? Did you do that job we agreed? Uh, uh, yes, of course we did. Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? The world's full of idiots. It's done. You've got proof? Yeah, here's a die. He had this on him. Hmm. Aye. That says alright. What did you do with the body? Um, I buried it, shall I say? Let's say I buried it? I dragged it away and buried it. They that must, must have been quite a joke. They, they, they might see proof. They might want to see proof, sorry. Um, okay, so we can easily beat him on uh, speech. At least this is the way it doesn't look like a murder. True, it wasn't easy. But if I'd left the corpse, they'd know for sure I was the killer. This way, they just lost a couple of novices. Or do you think it would have been better to leave the body there? Nah. I just have to make sure you did what was needed. Not even a mouse can get into that damn monastery. So no choice but to trust you. Do you trust me? Yeah. What now? What now? You did your job. Welcome. We need people like you. But okay. what do you need people like me to do? <laughs> I'm just a crimp. All I do is recruit. Now you get to go to our camp and find out everything right. you need to know. Where? Are you seriously telling me you didn't know it's the camp? Not too observant, are you? Well, there's a hill above Sassau, and on top, there's an old abandoned fort. Only it's not as abandoned as it used to be. That's where the camp is. Go there and report to a fellow by the name of Eric. Tell okay. him because the ex sent you. Eric. let me in just like that. Good point. I almost oh, passwords. At the gate, show them the special die you took off Pius. Oh. That's our sign. That's all? That's all. You'll learn everything you need to know at Vranich. And hurry up. I've got a feeling there's something being planned. Oh, is there? So, I just started to go to Vranich and find out the foe's numbers and plans. Oh, uh, uh, report to Sir Radzik and Sir Hanish on the investigation. Okay. Uh, well, we sat down. <laughs> I was wondering why we couldn't move. Right, lads, uh, nice knowing you, and I will see you around. Oh, 
Let's go see uh, Radzig. Yeah, boys, hello. Sir, I have news, and I'm sorry to say it's nothing good. After everything that's happened, you have even worse news. That's almost impressive. I'm afraid so. It's going to happen again, and on an even bigger scale. You're full of good cheer, aren't you? What exactly will happen? It seems the Pribislavitz encampment was just the start, and they're far from defeated. How did you find out? I found a recruiting agent who worked for them, and let him recruit me. Ah, God's holy hat! You never cease to surprise me. And I was a monk for about a week and as what well. Did you find out. They have another much bigger encampment in Vranik near to Sasau. What do those bastards want? And who the hell are they? To hurt us? Conquer the region? I'm not sure yet, but I can find out. How? I'm one of them now. <laughs> I have their secret sign. I know where their camp is. All I have to do is go and take a look. That's out of the question. It's too risky. What? Sire, compared to everything I went through to get this, it will be child's play. I already passed their test. They trust me. Then we'll have to attack them before things get out of hand. Ideally, right now, when they're not expecting us. Once we catch that mangy little shit, we can ask him nicely what he wants. Which I'm not sabotage first. We attack, it would be useful to have a spy go and scout out how many of them there are and what they're up to. I don't want you to take any unnecessary risks. It's much less risky than our raid on Pribislavitz. All right then, Hal. Go there and find out how many of them there are and what their plans are, whatever you can. But don't stick your neck out too far. Yes, sir. Godspeed, lad. Okay, so they're going to trust us now. So report to Sir Rad Radzig. We've done that. Um, there's the next objective now is go to the camp and count how many there are. And the good thing is we don't need to be uh, camouflaged up in cumin gear. We should be just walk in, count them all up, and then go back. Right, I'll see you at the camp. Hmm. Right, the, the camps are there somewhere. Um, so I'm just here south of Sasau. Oh, I see. It's a big area here. All right, okay. Well, we just have to sort of get up this big hill, get through these woods somehow, and... Uh, I feel well, hungry. Oh, he's always, he's always bloody hungry. Right, we finally made up that blinking hill. We have to go right the way around. Uh, so that looks like the camp over there. So we should be able to just walk in. Oh, we got a fast travel point as well. That'd be handy. Yeah, I think this is it, Henry. This is it. This is the camp. Warning, entering Vranic Hillfoot can abort some quest in progress. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what sort of quests? I'm, th I'm now thinking we should do some side quests. Hang on, I'm, I'm, I'll have to Google this. I don't want to ruin uh, my chances of doing other quests. Right, okay, I've just had a look now on Google. Um, if I do this quest here, it, there's a couple of side quests which will fail or I won't be able to pick up. At your service, my lady, which we've done already. A rock and a hard place, plus Gallo Brothers. I don't know what that is. Huntsman activity. Is that one we've done already? I'll have to have a look. Uh, sport of Kings, which we haven't done. Hair Hunt and Cherchez La Femme, plus sheep in wolf's clothing. So, yeah, we've done At your service, my lady, here. Right, that's the new one we haven't done, so I'm going to have to abandon this quest, not abandon it, but put it on hold. Um, I want to do those other side quests, though. I'm going to have a look and see where they are, and just uh, get on with it. Uh, yeah, so... Right, so, the plan is, there's a few quests, or a bit of um, a bit of a quest line, with Matthew and Fritz. And it starts, it starts by a guy called Andrew, which is the innkeeper in the Inn in the Glade. Uh, which I haven't discovered yet, I think it's up here. I'll just show you on the map where I am. So it's around here somewhere, that's near Hof and there's Ledechko. Um, and he gives us a series of quests, so I've come in here to pick up a quest. Oh, I don't know, it's off my screen now. So hopefully the, ch the chap up here will give us a few yeah. quests. Uh, let's see what happens. Here we go. Right, so here we are at the end of the glade, and this will be Andrew. Oh, right, Andrew. Okay, so what's happening around here? How's trade? Any trouble around these parts? Around here? The ones who've got it worst are them at the Neuhof stud farm. Yes. Getting things up and running again without old Smill will be a job and a half. His widow Zora is a fine woman, tough as he come. But, well, she's a woman still. And apart from that, 
It's those two idiots bother me the most. Matthew and Fritz. Don't you know them? <laughs> I reckon you do. Why do you think that? Right, okay, we can't um instigate the quest. Right, so he didn't give us any quests. Let's um let's have a little word with Fritz, see what he says. How's it going? Good money, eh? What? What money? Oh. Uh, uh look, yeah, go and talk to Matthew first. Well alright. Okay, so where's Matthew then? Oh, here he is. Hello, Matthew. Here's your share. Share of what? 125 groschen? What's happening? My share of what? What the hell are you on about? Well, that thing with Thomas... Uh, somehow his ring ended up with us. Who's Thomas? Thomas? Who's he? That bastard of a foreman at the mill in Adechko. Where you got us the job. There. Are you oh, out right. of your tiny mind? If anyone finds out you robbed it's him, robbed we'll him. all be fucked. Take it easy. It wasn't theft exactly. We all know he stole that ring himself. Ah, okay. So if then. it comes out, he'll be in the shit too. He'll keep his mouth shut. Okay, where did you sell it? Where did you find someone willing to buy and not ask too many questions? It wasn't easy. But then Fritz thought of Andrew. Andrew? The innkeeper here. They say all sorts of things about him. And how did it go with him? Well, first he didn't seem too keen, but when he saw the ring, he bought it off us. Actually, I'm not surprised. After all, we'll spend all the money on booze here anyway. Uh, what now? <sighs> what now? What will you do next? Now that you mention it... <sighs> Out with it then. What have you thought up now? I can't help myself. It's force of habit. We tried to be good at Sassal. And it didn't... And work. it didn't work. Exactly. We broke our backs working in the mill. While you eyed up the miller's daughter. While you eyed up the miller's daughter. And they drove us out. The only worthwhile thing we did recently was give that wastrel a thrashing, take his ring and sell it to Andrew. I'm not sure I like where you're going with this. And where's that? No one in the country gives a damn about the law. And if we knock some thief over the head in the woods, or ambush some wagon with supplies for Sigismund's soldiers, I won't lose any sleep over it. Okay, I don't like the sound of it. It's still robbery. Wake up, for Christ's sake! It's war! They skewered your parents, didn't they? Alright, alright. They all fucking right. burned down our fucking village, didn't they? Don't you give a damn about that? I fucking do. Of course I fucking do. And now, there's a herd of swine ransacking skeletons. Those fuckers are trampling over the ashes of Jeremiah, and Desmond, and Siegfried, and Tristan. Right, okay. We need to take them down. Let's chop those bastards to pieces, one after the other. I can't let it go, Hal. Even if I have to do it on my own, I'll put the fear of God into those bastards. We'll strike fear into the fuckers. We'll strike fear into the fuckers. I knew we could rely on you, Hal. I knew it. So? What's the plan? Well... I thought Andrew, the innkeeper here, could help us, but he's nervous. Best ask Fritz. He sorted out selling the ring, and he knows Andrew better. Alright, I'll do that. Right, so here's a quest. Quest started Masquerade. Okay. Find out from Fritz how things stand with Andrew, Andrew the innkeeper. Right, Fritz, I have a little word with you, my man. Hey, how'd you get so fucked up? bit rude there I think um, so about that plan of yours I hear you've got a plan to fleece the local villains be nice wouldn't it otherwise we soon won't have a pot to piss in and the innkeeper here could lend a helping hand exactly so what's the problem uh, he reckons we're not up to it you, you should try and talk him into it you were always good at that oh okay. and tell him I sent you so he doesn't send you packing Okay, I'll do that then. Okay, so Andrew the innkeeper is greedy as hell, so all I've got to do is mention money, and uh, he is putty in our hands. About highway robbery. Fritz sent me. I'd like to talk about... Ah, you'd like some wine from my cellar? I have it right here, in the back. No, I wanted to ask you about robbery. No, I wanted to steal... Yes, yes, of course it's good. I have it right here in the back. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Lead the way. Ah, he's doing a bit of a. Uh... Yes, yes, of course. Come on, Henry, get with Lead it. Lead the way. God be with you. Right, so we're following. Come on, Henry. Right, let's go. Think he needs some new clothes. Got no elbows on that. Right. What's the plan then? Oh, still going down. Oh, <laughs> his arms just went up then. So, Fritz sent you, did he? Yes. Aye, this was his idea. Look, lad, I'm fond of Fritz. I knew his old man, but Matthew, he's insane. Robbing people. Only those that deserve it. And you think his lordship won't mind? Have you any idea the kind of shit you can get into? I don't believe you're up to it. Why don't you believe us? Right, I can quite easily persuade him by speech. Um, it's war, no one will catch us. There's four of us, and there's a fucking war on. If we're careful, no one will catch us. Mm. Ah, okay, we've done. We've done that. That's good. We'll see if you're up to it. You'll need a disguise. What disguise? Use your head. You can never be sure no one will see you. Nah, that's true. We'll have to put on some other clothes or... Dress up as humans! Right. What? It's obvious, isn't it? Everyone knows they're looting. If someone's robbed by humans, no one will investigate. Hmm, that's true. But I'll have to get some human clothes. A captain's. And three sets of them. Oh, what? right, okay. So we can kill more killing quests. This is on good. On account of the helmets. No one will recognise you with them on. And where the hell am I supposed to get it? There's gangs of humans around skeletons. I've got a good idea where to find them from. Uh, passers-by. I'm supposed to attack a human camp? A minute ago, you were full of yourself. <laughs> and now, all of a sudden, well. you've lost your nerve. But the whole fucking camp? Oh, scouts are deserters. Most likely the ones who are trying to skive off or take easy pickings. And even humans have to sleep. Okay, so get three human disguises. All right, let's do it. Um, okay. Oh, God. Oh, there's a few here. What? Uh, all right, it's all right. I'll open the door. So, Masquerade. Uh, Fritz and Matthew have hatched a plan, which usually means lots of fun and lots of mischief. So get three cumin disguises. Um, go to the cumin camp, west of Uschwitz, uh, east of Uschwitz, and go to the cumin camp not far from Andrew's Inn. You need three captain's helmets and faceplates and three suits of cumin armour. Fantastic. Right, let's do it. Sorry, dog. Oh, missed. <laughs> get off. Right, okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Right, you're dead. It's a rabbit. Piss off, dog. Good hell, come on. Can't kill the dog. Right, that's it. Hopefully he's, he's got something. Okay, we went to all three camps and we... Um, we killed them all and we have now got three faceplates, or three helmets with three faceplate thingy bobs and we got three cumin armour. So we need to go back to Matthew and Fritz now and uh, start this up. Start it up. Right. I'm talking to Andrew. Hand over the cumin armour. got them. Three full outfits. What? Everything? Um, what can we give him? That won't... Uh. Okay, we've got it. Get hold of three. Yeah, we've done it. Okay, confirm delivery. The whole bloody lot. The whole bloody lot. Well then, let's see how you look in it. May the Lord want
music's gone a bit serious. Oh. Is that it? it it's a bit... Uh... Ordinary? Are you serious? I got it straight from the fucking humans. Well, it's not exactly, uh, terrifying, is it? <laughs> it's about as frightening as my aunt's speckled hen. Speckled hen? That's, a, that's an ale. Look much like a cumin to me. Have any of you actually seen a cumin? What? Do you mean close up? <laughs> Don't be daft. Miramir's Mir described them many times. Everyone knows cumins are monstrous. They're barbarians. Pagans. Whereas you... Look like a little boy playing at soldiers. And just who the hell is Miramir? He's a regular in my tavern. He works as a caravan guard and he knows what he's talking about. He's been eye to eye with a human and he's lived to tell the tell. Okay. You can ask him yourself. Nah, what are they now? Oi, Henry. Take that ridiculous thing off before anyone sees you, eh? Get to the complete, get three cumin disguises. Right. Find out from Milimer what real cumins look like. I feel a bit over uh, leveled for this, to be honest with you. Um, where's Milimer? Oh, here he is. Greetings, good night. How may I serve you? Wow, what what does what do cumins look like? They real tell live me ones. You've seen a lot of cumins. <laughs> they say you'd recognise one even in the dark. I certainly would. Buy me a drink and I'll tell you stories that will make your hair curl. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Have a drink on me. Thanks. What's your name anyway? My name's Henry. Henry. Aye, I'll be back in two shades. Mm. Anyway, not long ago, I was escorting a goods caravan all the way from Vienna when all of a sudden a terrible storm. Come on, get on with it. Hail, lightning, snow, the works. Snow. In summer. Don't interrupt. Where was I? Oh, that's right, the storm. We strayed off the path. Couldn't see the ground beneath our feet. And all of a sudden, we heard singing. In the distance, we saw a fire in the clearing with malevolent creatures ranged around it. Right. Singing demonic songs. <laughs> Uh, these malevolent creatures didn't mind the snow. Wouldn't they have preferred to sing somewhere warm? The big choir! Anyway, as if in a trance, we walked towards the fire. And at that moment, we saw them. Were those hideous creatures monsters or demons, you ask? No. They were humans. And a bunch of infants crying and sniffling. Uh, so, someone was feeling the cold. I'd have been shivering too. Snow doesn't do me any good, especially in summer. And those devilish creatures were drinking the blood of babies and fornicating with she-devils. We stood there paralyzed with fear until I, and I alone, managed to break out of the spell. I can tell you, I never ran so fast in my life. I was the only one to escape since that time. I've been able to do nothing but sit here. I can't work since that awful shock. I'm probably still I'll be right back under a that. spell. Yeah, yeah, bullshit, undoubtedly. Too. Probably a spell of laziness. <laughs> Listen, Milamir, what you just said is complete and utter bollocks from start to finish. <laughs> nice well, one, Henry. Would you know nice one. Peasants. I'm from fucking Scallets. I watched those bastards butchering my kith and kin with my own eyes. Ah... Uh, you might have said that before. Henry's getting quite feisty, isn't he? Someone would appreciate it. Uh, where did you get such silly ideas? Where did you hear this nonsense? Who's been spreading all these rumours about how frightening the Cumans look? Oh, the people from around these parts. Bram, the charcoal burner, told me about them. He lives in the woods near. Then there's Oliver, the wife of the Talmberg fisherman. And young Vashak, a uh, stable boy at the stud farm in Ushitz. He, he saw them too. God be with you. Okay, so can we done that objective. Find out what ba Bran knows, find out what Olina knows, and talk to Vashak. Okay, it's a long one.
So I, I'm going to uh, cut the video there. I want to see if I can cut the, the video around the 30 minute mark going forward. And um, the reason being, I was doing it as a quest. I was doing a whole quest before, but sometimes the quest lasts for 15 minutes. Sometimes it lasts for well over an hour. And it was very inconsistent with the upload uh, lengths. Um, and also I've started work again now. I was on furlough for five months, so I had a lot more time before. Now I've got very limited time, so I just want to do half an hour get it uploaded for you um, and then crack on with the next video so hope that's okay guys and I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please leave a like and I will see you guys hopefully next time take care